All of a sudden, a woman walked in. That woman walked in, fell on his feet, started crying, wiped her tears on his feet, poured oil on his feet, and the rest of his friends, who he loved, turned with a scorn face, turned with disgust in their faces, and they said, that woman, touching your feet? No! And, G and that man was Jesus. And then he said, Let he who has not sinned cast the first stone. And their faces, which was full of anger, turned into remorse, turned into guilt, turned into embarrassment. Because thinking again, possibly one of them, could I have an evening with that same woman? Your Excellency, if we are to ask that same question this morning in this important meeting, meeting let he who has not practiced corruption cast the first stone. We would be shocked how many stones would fly here. Mr. President, the pretense in this country the showbiz in this country. Everybody talks about corruption without identifying who the corrupt is. Mr. President, who is the corrupt? The corrupt is my wife. The corrupt is my, somebody's husband. The corrupt is somebody's sister. The corrupt is somebody's brother. The corrupt is somebody's father. The corrupt is somebody's mother. The corrupt are our grandparents. The corrupt are the society that we live in. Mr. President, we are all corrupt. It's going to be our own change of attitude and stopping corruption. <laughs> One writer, Ngugi Wationgo, he wrote in his Petals of Blood, he's a Kenan professor. He said, the struggle, my brother, begins with you. In other words, the struggle against corruption begins with me begins with you do not wait to be anything else or anybody else to fight against corruption it starts with me it starts with you don't wait to be the president of this country to start fighting corruption that's a lie the struggle to fight corruption starts from where you are and what you do you may be a head teacher, that is your front line. You may be a commander of the military, that is your front line. You may be the deputy speaker of parliament, deputy chief justice, chief justice. That is your front line, that fight must begin from where you are. Let's start the pretense, Mr. President. Let's stop being corrupt. We all are guilty as charged. Let anybody challenge me, Mr. President. Unless we take this from our own front lines and extend the frontier to cover other areas, it's a waste of time. It's a public show for nothing. I come because it's a public show. But deep down, I know we are going right back to practice the same damn corruption that we claim to fight. I have come here on behalf of the speaker and of the on behalf of the parliament of Uganda to make this recommitment to the fight against corruption. I, Jacob Lokori Olanya, Deputy Speaker of Parliament of Uganda, on behalf of the Parliament and on my own behalf, do hereby pledge that Parliament will adhere to the following commitment in the execution of our duties. 
to be honest and ethical in all our dealings, to provide timely services to the people of Uganda, to refuse to elicit or accept any bribe, to negotiate all government contracts with integrity, to ensure zero tolerance for our corruption. Jacob Lokori Olanya, Deputy Speaker of Parliament, dated this fourth day of December in the year of our Lord, 2019. Thank you, Your Excellency. Round of applause. Round of applause. Your Excellency, I've also been tasked to invite you to address the nation. Yeah,